Layout and Navigation. Let's take a closer look at the Dramat 5 editor. It can be easily downloaded from the Toolbox website for free and can be used on either Mac or PC. The editor is divided into two main sections. The Sound Editor, more on that later, and the Kit Editor. In the Kit Editor, you can organize and edit existing kits. As soon as you connect the Drummit 5 module correctly and start it in USB mode, the first kit of the Drummit.d kit will be displayed as the editor opens. If you would like to load a different user kit bank, you can choose from the menu File, Open Kit Bank, and navigate to the Drummit 5 drive and choose the desired folder. The sound browser is located on the left hand side. There you will find all the sound folders that are currently on the module. By clicking on the vertical arrow, you will go back one folder. With the refresh button, updates and changes to files and file names will be displayed immediately. On the top right side, you can find the monitor section. There you can see a level meter that displays the level of the currently played sounds and a fader which can be used to set the listening level. Below is the editor for the currently selected drum, where you can set the volume, tuning and pan position. This only takes effect if you use the stereo output. For example, output 1-2. This control has no effect if you use the corresponding direct mono outputs. In the middle are the single drums. By clicking on them, the present sounds can be listened to immediately and the corresponding channel will be selected for editing. Each sound on a channel has its name displayed below. Using the fader next to each channel icon, each channel output can be adjusted, just as the volume control on the right. This allows easy and quick adjustments of leveling to get well-balanced drums. Organizing and editing kits. To load another kit within the current kit bank, we simply click on the top of the menu Kit and select the desired kit. The kit and therein included sounds will be loaded. The name of the loaded kit is shown on the top left. Even loading another kit bank through clicking File, Open Kit Bank is no problem. The name of the loaded kit bank appears at the top of the window frame. As soon as we do any changes to the kit, a star next to the kit name is displayed. This means that the change is not saved yet and would be lost by closing the editor. This kit is now saved with the kit bank by just clicking File, Save Kit Bank. To save the entire kit bank under a different name, but leave the original unchanged, click File, Save Kit Bank As. Even organizing each kit within each kit bank is no problem. Just choose Kit, Rename, Copy. In the pop-up window, it is now possible to change the name and apply it by clicking on Rename. With File, Save Kit Bank, the name will be saved and the original name will be overwritten. It is also possible to organize the kits within the kit bank with Move or change the position of two kits with Swap. Just a little tip. The individual commands are initially disabled, darkened. Only when you have a new kit set number selected in the drop-down menu, editing can be selected. Swapping sounds within kits. Now that we have familiarized ourselves with the kit's interface and navigation, we now want to replace individual sounds in our kit with others. To do that, the sounds must be in DSD format, the two-box sound format. How they are created, we can see a little later by taking a look at the sound editor. First, we want to switch the kick drum to a different one. This doesn't have to be a kick, we can use any other sound. By double-clicking on a specific folder in the sound browser, we can see all the available kick drums. The assignment is easy. Just move the desired D's and D file onto the kick by drag and drop. Done. The sound can be played with a mouse click. By saving the user kit bank, the changes, 
just as the assigned kick sound will be transferred to the module. Now, if you boot the device, the changes will be directly available. The two box sound files are saved in a special format, the DSD format. The special thing about these DSD files is that they do not contain just a single sample, but several different samples, so called layers. For example, for the different velocities of the respective drum, but more on that later. Another special feature is that the DSD files include different zones. For example, different sounds for the fur and the rim of a snare drum. Of course, each with several dynamic levels. All in one and the same DSD file. By moving such a file onto the snare, the zone for the fur and rim will automatically be loaded with the corresponding samples. It is also possible to place a completely different sound onto the rim. The fur zone includes the original sound, for example the snare fur sound. Whereas the rim of the snare channel now plays the new sound instead of the rim sound, for example a cowbell. This individual and flexible assignment of the rim channel is available for snare and the four tom channels. The hi-hat and cymbals also have several zones, but they cannot be loaded within different sounds in the kit editor. Now we have changed our kit and so our main kit bank drumit.dkit and want to play it. Just save the kit bank and restart the module, this time not in USB mode. The drumit.dkit with our changes will be loaded automatically. Now we just have to navigate to our new kit. Done. Have fun trying it on your own.